Lopez burst upon the scene first, then it was Alejandro Usquiano. This year we saw Daniel Munoz, who got to the gold medal match in Medellin. So Colombia becoming a big, big factor in the sport. Of course, Mexico already a very big factor in the sport of archery, as you see Linda Ochoa taking the stage here in Lausanne, Switzerland. Linda Ochoa, 10th in the world and 5th in the World Cup rankings with 34 points. Linda Ochoa from Mexico has not medaled individually at a World Cup international event since 2010. She got to the quarterfinals in three of four stages this year, but could go no further. Now she will face another great Russian archer. This is Natalia Avdieva, who is number four in the world, or excuse me, number four in the World Cup rankings and seventh in the world. So. Natalia Avdieva, 25 years old, facing Linda Ochoa. And it's the first time they will meet each other in head-to-head -head match play. Two interesting schools where the physique is very important. Uh, in Russia, for many years, the physical development is uh, a key point of the program. But in Mexico, they have progressed a lot, and now they are a reference to many countries on how to develop the strengths of the archer. Nevertheless, there is a big difference between the bow weight of these two archers. Uh, seven pounds of difference. Uh, the Russian competitor here is using a 57 bow <laughs> against uh, 50 only for an uh, opponent. But today, since it's not windy, Ah. I'm not sure it will be a an advantage. advantage for one of the other one. No. <coughs> In case of win, of course, because if you use a heavy ball, more power, the, uh, the, the, the arrow are faster and deviates less drift yes. less yes. the wind. But here, I think it's okay. So a good look at Natalia Avdieva, who picked up a gold medal so this summer, up. winning at Antalya, coming from behind against Fatima. Almashadani from Iraq, and she sets the standard right here. Yeah, technique very simple, straight. She pulls straight, releasing line. Now Linda Ochoa. Siete. Nine. Yeah, we, we saw Nine. some instability before shooting, which is why she drifts on the right. And falls behind by one point. That one appears to catch the line for Avdieva. Yeah, a lot of deformation at the end of the draw. The chest is a bit high. A lot of energy up. Is it the stress? I don't know. I'm sure that heart rate is up a little bit for both of these archers right now. They'll settle into the match, but all, as I say that, Avdieva fires her third straight 10. So three straight 10s for Natalia Avdieva of Russia to start off this quarterfinal match against Linda Ochoa, who stays right with her and trails by only one after the first three arrows, Pascal. Only one, only one. This is much more uh, interesting for the rest of the match. What, 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 what we can see here is a dif technical difference. Uh, the Russian is really simple technique, use a simple technique, she draw weight well in line with no deviation left, right of the body, of the head, of the chest and all. The release is also well in line. More movement, of course, on, on, on the Mexican competitor. And there you get a bird's eye view of the judges and the volunteers retrieving their, those arrows 50 meters away. Good look at Avdieva, who won a gold medal at stage three, a team gold medal as well as the individual gold medal. And there's Linda Ochoa. Ochoa, sixth at the World Cup final in Edinburgh. Back in 2010, trying to improve upon that here today in Lausanne. Quite still. A bit long. Okay. Works out for her. So Linda Ochoa. Representing Mexico in a tough match against Natalia Avdieva, who started off the season 
a little bit slowly. In fact, didn't actually start attending World Cup events until Antalya. Did not compete in Shanghai or Medellin. So Ochoa starting to put some more pressure on. Three straight tens. Quite incisive, very smooth, fast. Looks determined. Here we see more time to set the posture coming from up, going down. Follow through was very short. That means she, she changed the mindset too fast after the short. She should remain the same, follow through. This is Abdiyeva maintaining her one point lead. So with a one point lead still. But Choa had an opportunity there. Win Abdiyeva shot the nine on that second arrow, but 59 points put up by the great Russian archer Natalia Abdiyeva. 58 points for Linda Ochoa from Mexico. And it's a close, close match. The first two matches, not close, really. Although the first one between Toya Trené and Albina Loginova was close. It was a one point lead for Loginova after the first two ends. Toya Trené moved ahead by one after three ends. And then in the fourth end, a seven by Albina. Spelled doom for the Russian archer as she fell behind by three and wound up losing by six. In our second match between Erica Jones and Alejandro Usquiano. Usquiano with a big miss, never released the second shot. And that told the story as she was never able to catch up and Erica Jones won handily. So Erica Jones is on to the next round as is Toya Cherne. The question is, who will emerge from this match? Achoa, who shoots a 10 on her first shot, or Avdieva? Both have come out of the gates very strong. A little slower than her first arrows. Maybe she starts sinking too much, we'll see. We're tied at 68 after Ochoa got into the inner circle on that first shot. Now a little low with a nine and a chance here. But a faster pace now for Linda. Maybe she's making... Uh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. I think there is a change here. It's a hot time. The pressure is changing the camp. Ah, ah. Let down and restart. Still has 10 seconds. Uh, it's in a With five seconds. Uh, no. Two seconds. Has to release. Nine. No. She did well to salvage that, Pascal. Not so bad, because at the last second, uh, we have to provoke the shot. And when we provoke the shot, it's not a surprise, really, is and uh, something changed. This is why she scored only nine. And that cracked the door open just a little bit for Abdieva. Surprising why she let down. What did happen? We haven't really understood. Something, bad feeling, I don't know. I don't know. So 87 points for Natalia Avdieva from Russia, who had that big win on Coney Alti Beach in Antalya, Turkey, to pick up 25 World Cup points, followed that up with 13 more points in Wrocław, Poland, finishing fifth, where she lost to Christy Collin of the United States in the quarterfinals by a single point. Here she's in the lead, but only by one over Linda Ochoa. 87, 86 after three ends, six arrows still left to shoot as you once again had a great look at the form of Linda Ochoa. Well, we saw Linda checking the arrows if they were not damaged during the shot to be sure she will use proper arrows and not lost a point uh, due to an uh, unfledged arrow or whatever. Down by one, Ochoa to shoot first here in the fourth end. And she's back in that center circle. Mining for more gold. Yeah, many arrows in the good line, vertically. Oh, very nice. She paints the center circle as well. The lead remains at one. Back to back tens for Linda Ochoa. Good resistance, very good. She 
he shows good control of her attitude. He is very accurate. Natalia tacks on another 10. Back and back we go, back and forth. It takes a lot of time to set up. Ah. In a match this close, a nine. Nine. Could be nine disastrous unless your opponent matches that nine with a nine of her own. <laughs> so Avdieva had a chance to move ahead by two, but couldn't come up with the ten. So it's a one-point lead. Achoa with 115 points right now in a very, very tight match with Natalia Avdieva from Russia. Avdieva has handled the pressure before when she won that gold medal in Antalya. She had to come from behind against Al Mashadani from Iraq to do it. Right now she's ahead by one, 116 to 115. Well, we saw different attitudes here with uh, Linda, uh, right hand on the hips means she's thinking, she's uh, uh, certainly uh, anxious about the situation and we saw also the opponent, Natalia, waiting the arrow quietly, no eyes movement. So it all comes down now to these three arrows. Linda Ochoa, who has been ranked as high as sixth in the world, trying to pick up her first Outdoor World Cup medals in Shanghai in 2010, but she has to win this match to have a chance at getting that medal. She starts off strong with a 10. Avdieva, ooh, a little falter right there. You saw that, and ooh, it cost her. It cost her, Pascal. It's difficult to, it's very difficult to reestablish the proper form after such a movement like this to recover the same muscular activities, the same alignments and all. Look Very at good. that shooting by Linda Ochoa. Very good. Grouping them in the 10 ring. And there's another 10. So we're still tied at 135 with one arrow left to shoot. Quarterfinals, World Cup Finals, Lausanne, Switzerland. Linda Ochoa. So much riding on this shot right here. Long, long, long. Four seconds to go, she releases low. And the door is just open a little bit for Natalia Avdieva. Can she clinch it with a 10? She does. <laughs> Natalia Avdieva comes through after Linda Ochoa just was a little bit low and left it in the nine ring. And that left an opportunity out there for Avdieva who took full advantage of it. And she moves on. Linda Ochoa is eliminated. Yeah, an archer who is very long to release very often is an archer who is thinking too much, hesitating, too much mind activity. And uh, very often we, when we release, we have not the same muscular activation, muscular work. And of course, we shoot from a different uh, uh, body. So the impact is a little off.